Hello everyone, welcome to meet us here. Today we're going to take a pork tenderloin, we're going to stuff it and show you what possibilities we can have so you can do it either in a grill or in the oven or even on the stove top. Here we have a pork tenderloin. What you really need to do on a pork tenderloin is remove this silver skin here first. A lot of that will cook out. In my mind I want to make it that much more tender by taking that silver skin off. Next, what I want to do is I want to kind of open this up so where it kind of rolls out a little bit. This way it'll make enough room for us to put our stuffing inside. You want to cut but not too, too deep. You don't want to expose holes through this muscle at all. But do the best you can, opening it up slowly a little bit at a time. Before you know it, you have a nice fillet opened up ready for stuffing. The first thing you want to put down is your seasoning. It's a wonderful seasoning, enhances a lot of the flavors. Garlic and pepper. It's got onion, parsley, red bell peppers and sea salt. Just lightly cover that bottom. Then you want to put your cheese down next. We use provolone cheese. Not a real strong one, it's pretty mild. After that you want to put in your spinach. You can be very generous with the spinach because later on when we roll it up it'll pretty much crush down too. This adds a lot of nice flavor. As a topper I like to put some carrots in there, added color. And now we're going to roll it. We want to start from the bottom where you originally had it and roll it back to where the top was. So we're going to roll it, hold it tight, keep pushing the product inside. There you have it. Next, we're going to put more seasoning on the outside. And like I said, you don't have to overdo with the seasoning, just to enhance the flavors. Because what we're going to do now, is we're going to put bacon on top of it. Bacon will do two things. It'll make it very, very tasty, and it'll keep it moist as it's roasting in the oven or cooking on the grill. And now we'll tie it up. The knot I'm going to use today is called a bologna knot. Okay, you want to tie that knot, make it nice and tight there. And instead of cutting the whole thing off, you want to cut just one portion off, nice and clean. You're going to wrap it around, push it through. Make a nice knot this way. And do it again. So it's one continuous knot all the way through. And all it's doing is holding all the products together. Now this being a pork tenderloin, it's going to cook very fast. At the same time, you want to make sure that the bacon is cooked all the way too. This can be put on the grill. I would not do a direct flame. We'll do it indirect. This way you don't get any flare-ups from the uh, bacon. Okay. You leave enough, enough little uh, string here to where you're going to tuck it underneath. You want to make sure you're at least in pork an internal temperature between 140 and 165. 
a little more for just some color. And there you are. I'm glad you're able to meet us here. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And I'll see you soon.